Saludos a todos. Bienvenidos. Gloria a Dios. This is your brother David Rodriguez with another episode of Hispaniola History Channel. And today we celebrating the three queens. The three queens of Hispaniola. Specifically we're talking about Ana Caona, Queen Isabella, and La Negra de Hospital. In honor of Women's History Month, whether it be your abuelas, your hermanas, your hijas, primas, your madres, you know, we honor our, our women from the island. Want to give a special dedication to these three women who were instrumental in the early history of America and the history of Hispaniola. So this is the three queens of Hispaniola. These three powerful women who were very instrumental and influential in the island's history. That is Queen Isabella of Spain, Ana Caona, who was the queen of the island, and La Negra de Hospital, who we know was operating a hospital for the native inhabitants and for also sheltering the poor and tending to the ill and sick. So these women were vital uh, specifically in the first 11 years of Hispaniola's history. So whereas the men were at war with each other, it was these three women's actions and presence on the island that actually promoted and kept the peace. And Although they might be described or depicted as the three separate races, and that is the three races, the three races that make up most of the genetics of folks that descend from the island, the native, the Negro, and the Spaniard. So these three women represent the three races of women, whether it be your abuelas, your hermanas, your hijas, primas, your madres. You know, we honor our, our women from the island. But what's interesting about these three women from the island or from the island's history all lived and were active during the same time period and i said earlier they represent the three races all three were powerful and independent all three women advocated for the natives uh, we know queen isabella was very adamant in protecting the natives and the rights of the natives particularly the ones on that island were protected same as anna Kaona, who was the queen of the island she did what she had to do to keep the peace and we know with La Negra de Hospital, she actually ran a hospital um, in the same location where the current San Nicolas Hospital is today. So these three noble women not only kept the peace, but served the best interest of the native inhabitants on the island. They were loved by the people, all three, whether you were native or Spaniard, um, all three women had uh, an admiration from the natives and the Spaniards. Uh, all three played a major role in the first years of colonization. We know of the men, we know of Columbus, we know of Nicholas Ovando, we know of La Casas, we know of those who came and uh, plundered and caused war, and we know of those who defended the island, Kaunabu. But not much is said about the women. Special shout out and praise and honor to those women who kept the peace and did it in their way, whether they were Spaniard, Native, or Negro. But what is amazing to me is that all three of these women who were powerful, independent, known among the Natives and the Spaniards, what I find interesting is that all three have not met each other. Uh, and these were crucial times. No records of any kind of correspondence between these three powerful women, that is Queen Isabella, Ana Caona, and La Negra de Hospital. You would figure Ana Caona and Queen Isabella would have had some kind of correspondence with each other, but there's no records of that. Yet them both living during the same time period, as well as La Negra de Hospital. So I find that very interesting. Very fascinating to me is that all three of these powerful independent women who were crucial in the island's history, all leave the records at the same time, between 1503 and 1504. We know this is when Queen Isabella passes away um, on Columbus, I believe, third or final trip on his way back to Spain or Europe. This is when he finds out that Queen Isabella passes away, dies. But this is around the same time that Anna Caona also dies and is killed, actually, and hanged by those who came with Nicholas Ovando 
around 1503, between 1503, 1504, around that time period. But this is also when we no longer hear of La Negra de Hospital, right around the same time period. So what's very interesting and fascinating is that the three women who were very instrumental in keeping the peace in the time when men were at war, one did not have any records of it corresponding with each other, and two, they all three leave the records at the same time period. So I wonder why the scholars haven't really pointed that out as being a very interesting connection and similarity. So whereas all three women lived during the same time and died around the same time, is it quite possible that some of the records might have got mixed up and we might be talking about the same woman? Hmm. I'll leave that to the imagination. Until next time, this is your brother David Rodriguez with another episode of Hispaniola History Channel. This is the Three Queens giving proper credit to those matriarchs, la madres, la hermanas, la primas, la hijas, those women in our lives that play instrumental roles in the island's history and American history as a whole. Uh, so once again, this is your brother David Rodriguez with another episode of Hispaniola History Channel. Hope you appreciate this episode. Good night. Peace.